This is the year of surprising movies that I didn't think I'd like, but I actually did. So recently, I went out to see the brand new film, Bottoms, the brand new comedy of 2023 by director Emma Seligman, who, uh, this is my first movie I've seen by her, but I know that a few years back, she directed a film called Shiva Baby, so if you guys recommend that one, let me know, I'm all open to checking it out, she has my attention so far. It starred uh, Rachel Sanat, who I know from Bodies, 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 which was, an, uh, which was a surprise hit for me last year as well. And I think that these new wave of comedies we're getting with Barbie and uh, Bottoms, and even Bodies, 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 even though it was a horror film, it kind of was a horror comedy, they are really working for me. I feel like comedy is starting to refine its footing where it's able to make fun of itself again. People are finally making fun of themselves and finally, like, not being soft about that and actually putting out some good quality jokes, and I'm very happy to see that. I also heard No Hard Feelings was a good comedy movie in that sense, but I haven't seen that one yet, so maybe I'll check that one out as well. Uh, so yeah, the cast, um, Rachel Snott, obviously I said I'm a fan of her, that was great. Uh, the other girl, Io Ida Berry, I believe her name is, I'm very sorry if I got that wrong. This is my first time seeing her in a film. She did an excellent job. And I, I was not aware of this film at all, was not on my radar for this year. I didn't have it written down as a movie I wanted to see. Nothing at all. I didn't even know it came out. And then some people on Twitter uh, told me to actually check out this film. So I went ahead and watched the trailer on YouTube and immediately I was hooked. The trailer wasn't exactly like the movie. It was a little bit more bloody and gory and, you know, uh, it took itself a little more seriously in the trailer, so I thought it was kind of like the chick high school version of Fight Club, which is what really, you know, grabbed my attention and brought me into this movie. But when I actually sat down and watched the movie, I learned that it was more of a comedy and more, it felt like, honest version of a 2000s comedic spoof. Like, not another teen movie or scary movie or, you know, one of those movies made by you know, all those people. It felt like one of those. And so, that comedy really worked for me because I grew up watching those films. Those have always been funny to me. Not another teen movie is one of the funniest movies I've ever seen for me personally. And so that really worked for me. Uh, on top of that, you have some very exceptional characters that you uh, get really connected to and you get really close to. Yeah, there are those kooky side characters like that one girl in the group who just yells at the top of her lungs. I don't really know what she was all about. Um, you have like the hot cheerleader that that's her whole character. She's a hot cheerleader. She's no depth to her. Uh, but you know, the main characters, the main three, four that we really focus on, they do have a lot of depth and you do get to learn to know them uh, in that short hour and a half runtime. Which I think, by the way, that runtime was exceptional. It worked very well. I don't think this movie needed to be two hours or overly long. I think it really had to stay simple, stay to the point, and just hit its mark. And I think it did that. Now, in terms of me watching the trailer and thinking it was a Fight Club type movie, uh, there was a bit of action in parts, but the action was not heavy in this movie at all. It was more comedic heavy. Uh, yeah, there were these Fight Club scenes and sequences that did get a little brutal and they get a little gory and it kind of was shocking but it was kind of fun and refreshing at the same time in this film. Uh, in terms of the side characters, like I said, there's one other one I have to bring up. Uh, Jeff, the quarterback of the football team. Probably the funniest character in this movie. I mean, everything he said and everything he did made me laugh out loud in the theater. He was phenomenally funny in this film. Uh, so yeah, the positives, like I said, a very funny film. Um, it's a movie that really stands out to me after watching it. It's another one. It's one I want to watch again. There's great movies that came out this year that I appreciate that they are great. And, you know, in terms of being a movie, they're probably better than Bottoms. And in those movies, you have, like, Oppenheimer and you have uh, Air and these, you know, high-quality movies. But they don't leave me wanting more. I don't ever crave to rewatch Oppenheimer. I don't ever crave to rewatch Air, but days after I saw Bottoms, I wanted to go back and rewatch it. I think it's because it's so fun. And I think that's what pulls me into movies more 
is the movie being able to be fun. And not that it is, you know, this great spectacle or this great dark, deep story that you have to get through. Just entertainment value is really what gets me to a movie and wants makes me want to stick around. So, yeah, I love the characters, even though a lot of them are not characters you can love. You kind of hate a little bit these characters because of their actions. That, but that doesn't pull away from the movie. I still think that works. So, I mean, yeah, that's getting to my negatives. The one small negative is that, you know, these characters, they're not people you love. You kind of hate them. You kind of hate the way they do things, except for Marshawn Lynch. Amazing character. I mean, he was phenomenal. I loved him as a teacher. I think he needs to do more acting roles. That's the first movie I've seen him in. I'm pretty sure he's done more, but I want to see him in more, because that was really cool to see. Uh, yeah, uh, the beginning, you know, we're just introduced to the characters. The middle... They form this fight club and you figure out what their intentions are. The end, you know, it's like a classic 2000s comedy. They have the fall apart, they have the comeback together, and then the big, climatic, insane ending. It, it, it works. It works. It shouldn't work, but it works. And so, surprising myself, I'm going to give Bottoms I, uh, 7... 0.5 to 8 out of 10, somewhere in that range. I'm not sure exactly. It's hard for me to rate this movie, but it was very entertaining. I mean, in terms of entertainment value, top tier movie of the year, and I'm surprised I'm saying that. I, I also feel Barbie was a top tier entertainment value movie this year. I'm surprised I'm saying that. Those are two movies that I expected me personally to go in and just think they were annoying or, you know, not my thing, but it, they both worked for me. They were both were fun, so hey, the new wave of comedies, maybe it's working. Maybe, uh, we're going to get some comedy classic coming soon. I can't wait for that. So, yeah, 7.5 to 8 out of 10. Uh, definitely a movie I'd rewatch. Um, a movie that I think all of you should check out, you know, with the strike going on and all these issues we have in Hollywood. Go check it out in the theaters if you can. If you have to wait for streaming, that's fine, but I do recommend you watch out this, you uh, check out this film. It's a big surprise of the year. So thank you all so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, I'm doing many other things. So stick around, like this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on that bell, get notified. A lot of cool stuff coming. I'm sure you'll like it. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great day.